Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today I will come down from the skies to talk about actual size from scale drawings. So we're going to look at scale factor, do a couple of sample questions, and some practice. First of all, scale factor. Um, we've seen this before. Scale factor is the constant we multiply times each measurement to get the new measurement. And that might seem kind of like vague and unhelpful, so I'll show a picture that I've shown in other videos. If I have this rectangle here, 4 meters by 1 meter, and I'm told that my scale factor is 2, then this new similar rectangle, or scale drawing of the same rectangle, would be 4 meters on the top times 2. 2, which gives us 8 meters. If there's a scale factor of 2, then each measurement of the sides are proportionally larger. So if I'm asked what's this scale measurement, or what's the measurement of this size on the scale drawing, I would take 1 meter times my scale factor of 2 to get that it's 2 meters. And that's the basics of scale factors when you're talking about um, items that are um, drawn to scale. So with scale drawings, we want to first of all just establish that we use scale drawings a lot. We use them when we're making blueprints, we use them when we're talking about things in outer space, although I don't believe this is a scale drawing. In fact, I'm certain it's not, otherwise we'd be crashing into planets. Um, we use them when we're talking about maps. And I thought of another way that we use a scale drawing is if we want to know what a scale looks like. Get it? A scale drawing? Like a drawing of a scale? All right, wow. Okay, I've been in my office too long. Now let's do a sample problem. Using this scale drawing, tell me the measurements of the front wall of this house. So here's a drawing of a house, uh, obviously like bird's eye view. If I'm saying that one inch is equal to four feet, what is the measurement of the front wall of this house? The front wall will be the one that in the actual drawing is 13 inches. We're trying to find um, trying to find the actual size on your house. Obviously, your front wall of your house is not 13 inches, right? So what we do is we take the actual size, or to get the actual size, we'll take the measured size times the scale factor. So in this case, 13 inches times 4 feet, because our scale factor is 1 inch is equal to 4 feet. So our scale factor is a 1 to 4 ratio. So we'll take actual size 13, or actual the actual size is 52 because we took the measured size times the scale factor. And so in this drawing, our house would be 52 feet across the front of the house. Now it's time for a practice problem for you. The, the, there's a picture of me. I've got a rock in my hand, and I'm going to throw it at that target to try and get a bullseye. The question is, how far do I need to throw my rock to hit the target? Now I need a couple of pieces of information before you can solve that. The distance is 7 and 3 quarters inches. Now I'm going to give you a scale factor to say that one inch is equal to five feet. So my scale factor is there. What I want you to do is pause the video and try this one out. Try doing exactly the same steps that we did before. Go for it. Hi. I hope you're back because you paused the video and came back, not because you're just cheating. You want me to give you the answers? Well, I am going to give you the answers. Let's go through this. So the actual distance from me to that target is the measured distance times the scale factor. So that measured distance would be that 7 and 3 quarters inches times my scale factor of 5. And that tells me that the actual distance that I would need to throw the rock to hit the target is 38 and 3 quarters feet. This is the type of question that you might get. The only way that questions like this can become more complicated is if they continue to give you distances and scale factors that are, that are more complicated. So your distances might be a fraction. Your scale factor might be a fraction. And if that's the case, that, that'll make it more complicated. However, 
it doesn't make the question any more complicated. You still just multiply the measure distance times the scale factor. As long as you remember the rules for multiplying um, fractions or decimals or whatever you get, then you're going to be in good shape. So let's do a quick recap. We talked about scale factor is a constant that you multiply. And to find the actual size, you multiply the measure distance times the scale factor. That's it. I hope that that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.